So welcome to the eighth game in our series of coaching drills from Sligo GAA. Game eight is a possession drill. The setup involves laying out a grid of cones in a square. Two teams of five players take up positions inside the grid. The coach throws the ball into the grid. Now each team has to make five successive foot passes to get a score. And these are counted and called by the coach. If the ball goes outside the grid, then the coach restarts the game by throwing in the ball. Normal rules apply, but remember, the only way a team can get a score is by receiving a foot pass from another team member. So we can see the setup here, we see the grid, and the ball is kicked in. This time the Reds have possession, that's the first pass. The second pass. The third pass. Fourth pass, and the ball has gone out, so you have to start again. If the ball has been kicked in again, this time it's won by the Reds. So that's the first pass. Second pass. Now the Blacks have it. That's the second. That's the third. And so on. Now in order to score, what they have to do is they have to get five consecutive kick passes. So as we can see here, the players are working the scores. Now the coach will call it as well as it's going along. If you look at the movement off the ball, you can see players moving into different positions. This drill helps the player practice looking for the ball as well. Conditions that could be imposed here include if the players fumble, for example, or drop the ball, then they lose possession and lose the score. You can tell players to kick with the left foot and the left hand only, so that they're working on their weak side. Or you can increase or decrease the size of the grid, depending on the age group or the group that you're working with. Good ball. Two. Three. 